Hey buddy, what's up? Ultramag64 here, and today guys, I'm bringing you more of the My Little Pony game from Gameloft. Now, last week, we left off, we uh, started getting the Crystal Empire up and running. I've done a little bit off-camera to, uh, to try and speed that process up. We're still not quite there yet. I've been having a lot of bad luck getting snow globes, but... Uh, I, I did, that did not deter me from, from trying to get more snow globes and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get us some more snow globes. I got 18 so far, apparently. So yeah, I've not, I've not been having the best of luck trying to get these snow globes. So it's it's going to be a while. It's, it's going to be a while. But I'm going to try and get as many snow globes as I can to get, uh, get, the, get, get the darn Crystal Empire up and running. So I've got pretty much every pony I can... Working on on doing that. I think we've got 18 out of the, yeah 20 out of the 150 150 so so yeah, it's it's about part of the course for me My darn luck is just just awful. So so yeah, it, it makes sense that I have the hardest time Trying to get these darn snow globes. I'm it's okay. Cadence. It's okay. I got this. I got this We're gonna get all these snow globes up and, and then we're gonna have a party a party of ponyrific Proportions. So, anyway, what in the world of pony news has happened since we last left off? I know last week we didn't talk about anything pony related outside of the game, but this week we're gonna go ahead and talk about stuff. So, between now and, uh, you know, or well, between when we last left off, which is about a month ago, and now, there have been a few things that have come out. So, uh, a couple episodes have come out, um, and mainly, I'm kind of behind, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of behind on, on Pony. I haven't watched the, uh, last two episodes. Uh, actually, I haven't watched three. I haven't watched the, uh, the Cutie Mark Crusaders with the Griffin. I don't remember what uh, episode that's called. The, uh, I think, like, the, the Make Our Marks or something like that. I don't know. Something, it was, it was about the, the adorable little Griffin whose, whose name I, I don't remember or don't know. But, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched that one yet. Um. And then I haven't watched Where the Apple Lies and um, Top Bolt, the newest one. Uh, I know Where the Apple Lies was like last uh, last last week's, and uh, this most recent one was Top Bolt. And I was really looking forward to Top Bolt because it has another uh, Make a Wish pony, which I, I love the Make a Wish ponies. I love that. That's that's really awesome. Um, this one I think is called uh, Heart or something like that. Some some Glimmer Heart, Glitter Heart, I think. I think that's what her name is. I don't know. Let me. Do a quick Google search. Uh, um, make wish pony's name is Angel Wings. Angel Wings is her name. Okay. Um, so yeah, I haven't watched either of those episodes, so unfortunately I can't give my thoughts on it. But what is kind of interesting, and what I do want to kind of bring up, is is pony dying. Or, or is not not necessarily dying. I guess that's a bad. That's a that's a not a not a good word to use um, for it. But is like, are are you guys getting getting tired of of pony? Is is pony kind of running its course with you guys? Um, I know you know people come and go from the fandom all the time, but uh, for me at least, like I remember back in in previous seasons, I would never miss an episode. Never. I would make sure. That some way or somehow I am watching the episode of the Mile Pony, but like like recently I've, I've gotten a I've gotten busy with college and that's that's kind of where I'm I'm at right now as I'm I'm just really busy. But like I, I would still try and make time usually, um, you know, in previous seasons to watch it, whether it be live or if I had to watch it on uh, um, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Darn it! Um, if I could, if I could watch it somewhere else, I would. But with this season, I just don't. I don't know. I'm not. It's it's important to me. Yes, I'm not. I'm not trying to say, oh my gosh, I'm I'm out, I'm falling out of the fandom. That's not true. Um, I still love the fandom. I still love the show. It's just I'm like, eh. I mean, I'll, I'll watch it later. I guess whenever I have the time, or whenever I feel like it. Like I haven't even watched the Equestria Girls movie, and I was really hyped for that. And it's on Netflix, and I'm just like, oh, I can watch it anytime. I'll, I'll watch it later. I've got other things I gotta do. Like watch Luke Cage and other stuff. You know, that, that's, the, that's the kind of weird thing is it's like, I'm wondering if it's just that it's on Netflix, and I'm just like, 
oh, I, I can watch that anytime. You know, I can, I can watch Netflix anytime. I've got a Netflix account. I don't have to worry about it. You know, um, someone brought up a, a interesting point in a live stream the other day, uh, that I, I didn't get to address because I was playing a game that required me to think. And I was like, oh, well, uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. And then I never did. But, um, someone mentioned, like, this season, is it the weakest season so far? And an interesting thing to talk about is that, um, where's my, where's my darn article? Here it is. Um, M.A. Larson and, uh, perhaps, uh, Haber are not, uh, involved with season seven. So this is like the second, well, I think this is the, the first season that Larson's not on it. But then, uh, seven's going to be the second season Larson's not on it. And I'm, I'm curious, because... Per I, I know a lot of people, you know, may not like Larson's writing style, especially after Princess Twilight. Personally, I love Larson's style. I love his, uh, I've been reading his books, Penny Royal Academy. Um, I still gotta get to the second book, but that's regardless, neither here nor there. Um, but what's interesting to me is it's like, I like Larson's style. And so, Larson would always kind of do, do other stuff. And I, I don't know. Like, I still say that one of the best episodes in My Little Pony is the, uh, Amending Fences one. I love that episode. That episode is great. Is it perfect? No. But it's great. It is wonderful. One of the best in the series, in my personal opinion. But, like, and that's the thing, is, like, I think that was, wasn't that the last episode he worked on? I think he also worked on, you know, episode 100, but I, I, don't, was, I think that was before, uh, Amending Fences. If I remember correctly, I don't remember. I don't recall exactly, but uh, that makes me wonder: Has Pony lost its a lot of its writers? I mean, I mean, we still have a lot of the good writers on there, and there, there's still good episodes that are coming out. But I don't know; they just don't seem like they have that. I don't know, spark of magic, or I don't know something. Something just feels kind of off about this season. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's not like I'm I'm not trying to say that anyone's untalented. That's that's not what I'm trying to say here. I'm not trying to say that oh, you know, it's it's because they don't they lack the talent or the skill that these other writers did. No, I'm not saying that. It's just I don't know. I don't know how to equate this into words that I can I can speak properly, but like it's there's just something that's I don't know, off. Like there, there are a few things that just don't. Like we seem to be treading on, on ground, on on different stuff. Like we don't seem to be treading on newer stuff. We seem to be kind of retreading some things and kind of doing more lessons. Like for instance, um, the gift for Mod Pie. We've seen that done a million times, and it it was just bog standard, and it just felt like, okay, why why are we treading this? You know, we could we could mix this up and mash it up. And I don't know, maybe that's just my viewpoint on it. I'd love to hear people's uh, opinions on that. Um, but like for the uh, the other one, um, oh darn it, what was the the pony perspective, the point, pony point of view? Um, that story has been done a million times. However, they I, I will give them kudos on this one. They did try and and mix it up by by putting in a, a surprise element uh, at the end. And there were a few good chuckles. I will admit that there were a few very good chuckles. But like another one that really was just like, why, why, was um, the the racing cart one. What was that one? Darn it! I can't I can't remember that one. I can't remember that darn. See, that's the problem. I can't remember that done because it was just so black. But like seriously, that one was just just why. Like I I I did not like that episode at all. Like it. Well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that strongly. I'd, I'd probably say I, I just it wasn't a very good episode for me because, like, it. I don't know. It. it we, we'd seen it been done a million times, and I, I get it that it. It was trying to to tackle an issue that's like, hey, look, you guys are bigger than us. We can't. We feel like we need to. We, we can't speak up for ourselves because you're grown ups. You know best, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I like that, but the episode as a whole just felt very like. Meh? And it just, it felt like you could see it a mile, a mile away. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's what My Little Pony this season has been missing. Is that, like, twist. The, the like, the thing you don't expect. 
maybe that's it. Maybe the, maybe the episodes have started becoming more, you know, kind of, oh, I can see where this is going. And maybe that's kind of the, the issue, is it's like, oh, I know where this is going. It's not going to be that engaging for me. Something, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it very well, because you know me, I'm not good with my words. But it, it just feels like this season's a little... I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm hoping... Like, like I said, I haven't seen uh, Legends of Everfrey yet, and I think um, McCarthy, Megan McCarthy, wasn't she, isn't she working on on that one yet? Or is, is, or is someone else doing that one? I thought Megan McCarthy was... Wor was is, isn't McCarthy still working on stuff? With Pony? I think she is. I haven't, keep, I haven't seen her around in a while, so I might I might do some research on that. But uh, I'm pretty sure that McCarthy worked on the the newest uh, Equestria Girls movie, and like maybe maybe that's it. Maybe we need to switch up the 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 writing staff. Like I'm, I'm I want to say that they split the Friendship's Magic team in a half and kind of had them do you know one team do the Equestria Girls movie, one do the season. And I'm curious if we swap them. For, like, every other season we get different stuff and different takes on stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answer for it. Uh, again, I, I like right, I like Larson's style, and I kind of wish he was back on the uh, on the team. But, you know, you can't, you can't all have that. You can't, you can't always have what you want. And I want that. Oh, well. It's fine. Um, but, but, yeah, it, it's, it's just interesting. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it, because... I don't know, I, like, let me, let me just say one thing and one thing alone. I'm not going to stop watching Pony. And from what I hear, like, uh, recently the, the, the EU finally got, like, the entire season just went out in a week. And, uh, one of my friends, my good buddy, uh, he watched the season finale and was blown away by it. So I'm hoping that maybe it's just, like, me just being me and, and hopefully, you know, that, that, the season's gonna the, the season's end is gonna be like oh my gosh I can't believe this wow holy cow you knocked it out of the park you hit a home run for me and and again I'm 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 not saying like we're going to have a bad season or anything like that like I haven't again I haven't seen a couple episodes and so it's like those episodes might be really really good like especially Top Bolt I'm really excited for Top Bolt because again I love the Make a Wish Pony that that I love her design and I love that Hasbro does that. Or DHX, whoever handles that. Uh, but I love that. That that is one of my favorite things. Like I loved the the other Make a Wish pony that was in the uh, the trading episode. I don't remember his darn name or the episode's darn name. But yeah, I loved that. But uh, I, I I just I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I'm gonna try and catch up before next week. But no promises because again, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Um, Especially taking an, an animation class, like that takes up a lot of time for me, uh, along with other classes and juggling this and juggling another job. It's getting kind of crazy. I don't know how I'm gonna if I'm gonna be able to keep this up uh, for how long, but I'm gonna keep trying. But uh, I, I, I just I don't know. I'm I'm interested to see where the season goes from here because we've got another season confirmed. Like I said, season seven's already confirmed to be a thing that's gonna happen. And so I'm interested to see where we go with it. I, I want to know, like, what we're going to see with it. Not, do I not have another pony? Gosh darn it. I need another... I need an asparagus horse. A spare horse, if you will. I need a spare horse. Is anybody not working? I guess not. Darn it. Oh, I need somebody. I need more horses. I need more horses. How much is a horse? Oh, fire... Well, fire, you're only 35 gems. Oh, do I do it? Oh, I want her so bad. I love Sibsy. I don't think Sibsy's working on the show either, is she? I don't remember. I think she quit, didn't she? Well, I don't think she quit. I think she she left on to do other projects, I think. I don't remember. I want to say I talked about Sibsy leaving. I want to say, yeah. Yeah, I think so. What is Sibsy doing anyway? Isn't she working for Disney or something like that? I don't remember. I'm sure she's doing something great. She's she's a great artist. But anyway, I'm good by I'm good buyer. I'm buyer. I don't care. Okay, where are we gonna put her though? Sibsy, where you wanna go? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear that off, and then we'll we'll put her there. 
That sounds like a good plan. I mean, we've got all this space over here, but screw that space. This space is useless to me. Okay, I'm gonna expand that out. So that way we've got another section of land that, you know, we, we still have this all this land and junk, and it's all gonna get filled up with freaking rocks. I really need to do a purge at some point, but it's like... I don't think I'd have the money. I, I think that's the problem. I don't... Even with my exuberant amounts of money, I don't think I have enough money to fix this problem. <laughs> I've made it too much! It's too awful to look at! Just... just awful. Okay, but, um... Hey, we almost have enough, actually. Wow. Surprise. Okay, is there anything else... Gosh darn it, I gotta find stupid... I swear we've done this quest before! I swear we have! I, I swear! I remember doing this. I don't know where, but but I'm, I'm pretty sure we did. Like, it was one of the beginning quests. Right? Am I just crazy? I could be crazy. I am crazy, but it's fine. So, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I'm getting back on topic. I don't know where I went off on a tangent there for a minute. But, like, I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not con... The thing is, is I'm, I'm like, on the fence here. I'm, I'm concerned, but not really. Like, Hasbro knows that, that Pony's doing, doing fine. Hasbro knows that Pony is popular. Um, we just got another line of mystery boxes of Power Ponies, which I want, but good gravy. They're like six bucks a pop, and ouch, that's, that's a pain in the wallet there to try and get all those ponies. Because, like, I, what, what I would do for that is I would buy just the entire box. Just all of them. Just just go to a store, pick the entire display up, and just take it to the register and be like, I want these. Right now. I want these ones. And then just buy them. Like, that's what I did for the original, uh, when the first wave of blind bags came out, back in, way back when. Uh, I just took the entire box and just took it. It was like 50 bucks, and I was like, cool, here's your money, taking these. I think I did- Did I do an unboxing of those darn things? I don't remember. I think I might have- I, I think, if memory serves, I did a- I think I did, but I never posted it. I think I recorded it, and I didn't like it, and I never posted- I don't remember. Did I do that? I gotta, I gotta find that out. Here, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna find that out real quick. Where's my phone? I don't remember that. Like, did did I do that? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's just search unboxings on my channel, see what I get. Probably a whole lot of videos. Okay, um, doopy doopy doopy. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Derpy in her forever. Unboxing. Alright, searchy search search. Let's see what comes up. A whole lot of videos, like I said. I've done a junk ton of unboxings. Let's see. Loot crate, loot crate, loot crate, loot crate, daring do. Loot crate, loot crate, loot crate, loot crate. Uh mail time. Loot crate, loot crate, crunchy roll. Uh comics. I did! I did- I, okay, I did post it! Wow! Holy cow, how long ago was that? Can I see? Oh, I can't see. Yeah, no, I did an entire thing of crystal blind bags. Gosh darn it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I can't believe I did that back then, man. Would you guys like to see that? I know, like, mass unboxings is a thing. Like, people like to watch. I don't know why, but, but I, I mean, I'm not gonna stop them. I mean, heck, I do it. I unbox stuff on camera all the time. But would you guys like to see me get just a buttload of, uh, of the darn power ponies and just be like, here, we're gonna unbox this thing. See what's in it. So, uh, I guess let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that. I don't know. I mean, it'd be, it'd be interesting, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've not thought about doing something like that. Okay, do I have any? Uh, I don't have any ponies that can do that. Darn it! The mows of Nolan need to be mowed. 
Curse you, Crystal Empire, and your incessant need for snow globes! Which I don't know why you need snow globes, but hey, I'm not gonna judge. Alright, um, let's see, is there anything else I need to do? Well, I know I need to, I need to do the friendship thing, but I was talking about anything here that I need to take care of. Okay, you're gonna do that. How long do you got? Um, two hours? I can, I can wait two hours. You know what, I'm gonna buy Sibzy already. I'm gonna just set her down. Oh, hang on, let me, let me clear these out. I'm gonna set her down right here. Oh, I don't, I don't have her. Psh, silly me. Okay, okay, I'm gonna sit her down right here. Right there. There we go. So she's gonna sit there, and then she's gonna get built, and then I'm gonna move her over there. That way at least I have her during the sale, because I'm probably not gonna remember to play this game for t uh, two hours from now. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at our friends list, which is 46. That's not right. That's not right. I just cleared this. I just did this yesterday. Oh, okay. I was like, I just did this! Not, not today. Like, I did it a couple days ago. But, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in and see who added us. And, uh, if you guys want to add them, then their friend codes are right on the screen and right here. Just pause the video. You know, just, uh, make sure. We've got, uh, Apple Labs, blah, 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 blah. I still don't know what language this is. Still don't know. So many people keep adding me from it, and I do not know who they are or what language they hail from. Do not know. I think it's Russian. I'm not sure. And then we've got Michela Honginson. Okay. Part of me thinks that people just want me to pronounce weird things, and so they just purposely like put their country in a different country, and then just make and then just friend me, and then they're just like, ha ha! Now I get to watch Magnus try and pronounce things that he can't pronounce. Then we got Pinky Cookie. Okay, fine. Thank you. Something I can pronounce now. So, uh, yeah, Rainbow Dash got tired of Pinky's, uh, Pinky's cupcake fan fictions that she keeps writing about her and sending her. Because she's like, look, Pinky, I just want Daring Do Books. You, you just have to give me Daring Do Books. I don't need all this murdering me books in my house, okay? That's gonna draw attention and eyes to me that I don't want. So I'm gonna have to cut you up and make you into a cupcake myself. Because, hey, that was a pretty creative idea. And I, I gotta say, that you taste probably delicious. Probably like frosting. I don't know, I imagine Pinky tastes like fondant. Not that I would know. Then we got Lou Iris Gusta. Now that sounds German. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. We've got Vanilla Pants. I mean, whenever I want to sweeten my delicious cup of tea, I always put a pair of pants in my tea. I mean, it doesn't everybody? I'm pretty sure that's just a thing that everyone does. Just drop a pair of pants in your tea. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Now we've got, lastly, Starry Cake. I do like Starry Cakes. Cakes, like, I love little star sprinkles. I'd, I'd like... Like, what I would do if I were making a, a cake, I would make a nebula cake. Like, maybe a Doctor Who cake. I'd make a Doctor Who cake. I like Doctor Who. You know, yeah, let's make a Doctor Who cake. Okay, okay. In our hypothetical bakery, we're making a Doctor Who cake, okay? So, what I would do is I would do a vanilla cake with, uh, probably blue icing on the inside. Like, uh, like TARDIS blue. I don't know what, I don't know if that's an actual color. Um, what's, what color is the TARDIS? Royal blue? Is it royal blue or just a blue? I think it's royal blue. I don't know. Is royal blue a shade darker? I don't remember. But we do that. And then what we would do is uh, sprinkle in little, little stars on the, on the inside of the cake batter. So that way, like, when it cooks up, it, it gets all, you know, you know? Yeah, that does that. Um, and then what we do is we'd make it a layer cake, too. We'd make it, like, a two-layer cake. That way, the icing's in the middle. And then, um, what we do is we put fondant over it, like a blanket of fondant. Um, and I'm talking like, like, we'd make it like, uh, a, a, almost a nebula design. Like, uh, I don't know, I don't know how we would do it. I think, can't you, like, print pictures on the cake and fondant? I'm pretty sure you could do that. 
We'd do it. We'd find a way. We'd make it. We'd make Nebula find it out of it. I don't know how. Don't ask me. I'm not a baker. But in this hypothetical situation, I am. So I know how to do that. Because, you know, I am that way. And then we put a little tinier cake on top. You know, like like the, the tier cakes type type deal. We put a little tinier cake on top uh, before we put the fondant on, obviously. So that way, you know, it looks right. But uh, then we, we'd cut it all up, make it all nice and, you know, even and stuff like that. We'll cut the fondant off. I mean, sorry. I'm, I'm going ahead. I'm, I'm already thinking this in my head. And then we put a little TARDIS on top. We make a little cake TARDIS out of, like, fondant, right? You can do that, right? I've gotten a rainbow dash out of fondant. I can do a TARDIS. So, uh... Put the TARDIS on there, and maybe put a little, little Doctor Who figure, little, little Doctor Who. I don't care which Doctor, we'll put, you know what, you know, heck, heck, okay, fine. You know what, let's, let's get fancy, let's get fancy. We'll put portraits of all the, do all the 12 Doctors on the bigger end of the cake. There you go, like on the side, we'll put them on the side, we'll put all of them on there, like a clock, like a clock. It'll be like, everyone's on a clock, and it'll be cool. And then we'll put a little TARDIS on there. We'll put all the little companions on as figures. That way, there you go. You got you got your doctors and you got your companions and you got your TARDIS. You got a big cake. Why did I think of this? This was way too much. And I'm hungry now. Great. Just great. I ruined everything. So yeah, if you wanna add, you wanna add me to my to your friends list and watch me make silly weird rambles about your name, then hey, you can invite me with your, uh, my code, which is 0145, that's 0145. But anyway, guys, I'm Ultramining64, remember, whenever you're making cake, make sure you get lots of fondant, but not too much, don't get too much, don't lay it on too thick, because you'll make people sick, and you don't want to do that. And happy gaming. I'll catch you guys on the flip side with more crazy content in the future. Bye-bye!